get on your bad motor scooter and ride what's up fellas <clears throat> uh, I just got the carburetor one of the carburetors put back together for the goozy that's uh, an Amol that's uh, not the typical carburetor that you see on uh, moto goozies but there was a strike at the Delorto factory in, I don't know, 72, 73, 74, sometime in there. And they did make a manifold to adapt to the AMO carburetors because the British were more than willing to supply carburetors. Um, I found out a few years ago that they actually did this, and I didn't, didn't realize it until I <clears throat> was reading a manual seen that they had the uh, jet size and the needle placement settings and stuff for Moto Guzzi 750s. I was like, huh. And Amol carburetors is what typically came on the Triumphs. And I know them pretty well. I've had to take a few apart on the road. Know how to jet them, get them working. <clears throat> Don't really... Uh, know how it's going to react on the the goozy but you know carburetors carburetor had uh, <laughs> got quite a few of these Amol 930s laying around actually told a friend of mine we might try to adapt one of those to his uh, or a couple of them to his Volkswagen he's a little worried he thinks I'm nuts anyways but, uh, still haven't got my head stud Uh, I'm trying to get the exhaust on there. This nut threads on there and it's kind of sticky. And I don't have the tool to uh, chase the threads for that. I did go back and chase all the threads on the rest of the head though. After the broken bolt incident, I figured it'd be a good idea. Uh, just thought I'd make a quick video. I'm in there waiting for uh, Neil's video to upload. Dan Electrode 68. There's the uh, Delorto carburetors. I'm sure if a Moto Guzzi guy sees this, he's probably going to get some hate mail. But I think these are just uh, ugly carburetors, too. You know, I guess they work good. Had quite a few miles on the uh, BHB 29s. But if you notice on the uh, Amol, they have a little place here, a little bolt where you can put the uh, tube to hook up your air meter, your manometer. And help balance the carburetors out, which uh, later model ones have it on the Delortos, but these did not come with them. And I was going to drill them out and tap them. I think they're what six one twenty five, whatever metric threads. But I do have a nice, nice balancing set. I bought. Let's see. Uh, shoot carb mate it's really nice really nice setup hooks up your battery hook up two tubes and tells you left or right what to hook up and then when you start the bike up it tells you which one's off which one's good where to go up down in out whatever uh, if you don't do that especially on these I think they're 60 degree twins. Feels almost like your clutch is out of adjustment. It's real grabby, but it's actually just a carburetor. Uh, each cylinder is not in sync with the other, so you kind of get this imbalance going on there. And I have done a little bit of work keeping up with it. You know, I know I said I wanted to keep the. Uh, uh, everything looking stock. But I want it to run good too. I replaced the oil 
supply tube but to the head with a stainless braided Teflon lined high pressure hose never uh, never had a problem but the stock one is a straight steel line and I have had those crack on the uh, triumphs so I don't know my uh, bigger goosey comes with rubber that's why I decided to go with the flexible one uh, well I think looks like that might be about it for today I uh, appreciate your watching I do have another video uploading you guys might enjoy uh, I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching.